What's going on fellows? First I'm going to read you this quote, but don't you know there are some things that can beat smartness and foresight, awkwardness and stupidity can. The best swordsman in the world doesn't need to fear the second best swordsman in the world, no. The person for him to be afraid of is some ignorant antagonist who has never had a sword in his hand before. He doesn't do the thing he ought to do, and so the expert isn't prepared for him. He does the thing he ought not to do, and often it catches the expert out and ends him on the spot, which would be me, the expert. And uh, that basically describes this whole game, like this whole fucking game, yo. Like, it makes no sense to me uh, what happened, and I just really can't explain it. I mean, I start out pretty decent. I get like a four or five point lead here and there, and right here, I have to wait till I get near the rim to even dunk it because I'm afraid J.R. Smith will uh, challenge me, and that's really sad this year. That they toned down standing dunk so much that um, you're really afraid to go up with a big man because you're afraid you get challenged by like a 6-1, 6-2 guard. But right here, my controller just completely stopped working after this jump shot. I could not move at all. I got like two five-second uh, inbound violations. I let him score, I think, five points. Um, it just fucked me up completely. And after this happened, I knew that the game was going to screw me the whole time over. And uh, I had my cord plugged in and everything. I don't know what happened. And I unplugged it and replugged it back in, and uh, eventually it came back, and he tried to take a charge even, so, I mean, the guy's a scumbag, but, I mean, it was just one of those games where you felt like nothing right could go, like, your way, and you always felt like he had, like, um, luck on his side for the most part, and right here, I don't know how J.R. Smith shuffles with LeBron, it makes no sense, but right here is a rarity, some rare footage right there, standing dunk with uh, Greg Oden, who you won't be seeing anytime soon, I think he's going to prison for, like, three to six years, could be wrong, though. I think he assaulted his girl, or assaulted some female, but uh, LeBron gets a nice pass to Batty right there. And I want to discuss also some ratings for 2K15 that could be, or just my predictions overall. So I think LeBron's going to be 98, KD's going to be 98, Melo's going to be 91, Blake 92, uh, CP3 94, Russ 91, Harden 90, The White 91, Curry 88. Uh, Kevin Love 90, uh, Kyrie 86, and that's pretty low, but I think he's overrated, and I'm a Cavs fan, so uh, that's uh, my predictions for, or predictions, sorry, for the ratings, and uh, probably the next time you guys will see any major 2K news will come out during packs or 2K, I guess, footage, major 2K gameplay, hopefully from a capture card, and hopefully it's a more updated version of the game, because I think that uh, the game comp, or games comp footage at most is an alpha, and I don't know how I overran Melo right there. I mean, I was waiting for the pass, because I know he always goes to Mello uh, during clutch situations, like the clock uh, winding down right there. But uh, Ray Allen made this open shot, which is going to be a rarity in this game. Um, you guys will see what I'm talking about later. And I finally get a foul call there. I think at the end of the game, I think the tally was like, I think he had 12 fouls, or 12 fouls call on me. And I think seven on him. And I go to the basket a lot with LeBron, because I have him as a point guard. And he went to the basket too with Mello. And right there... I don't know if you guys paid attention, but it'll be coming back later. I missed a B-plus free throw slightly late and made a B-plus free throw slightly late. That just makes no fucking sense to me. Um, the free throw system is just off this year. And they compared uh, shooting 2K15 to free throw shooting, so hopefully it's not as bad. Because uh, the free throw shooting, you know, you can miss like an A- slightly late or slightly early. It just makes no sense. And uh, yeah, I don't know how J.R. Smith is just keeping up with Wade and LeBron like that. And I think he's just on a CPU defense the whole game. I think he's on uh, Chandler, Amari, Bargnani, and Kenyon Martin the whole game. And uh, I know he likes to do that. And uh, finally, I get a reaching call right here. And here's what I'm talking about right here. LeBron goes up, hits the first one, B+, plus, slightly late. But what do you know? The second free throw, slightly late, B+, plus, hits it off the front of the rim. Unbelievable. It makes no sense to me, man. This game is just so confusing. And then he's reaching like recklessly, just no foul called at all. Like this nice dump off to Haslam right there for the standing dunk, which is also a rarity. And hopefully they tone up standing dunks next year because it is awful, really, this year. I want you guys to check out this next play right here. Norris Cole, excellent B, wide open misses it. And it's just how 2K works this year. But yeah, hopefully they tone up standing dunks or make them better next year because it's really sad when, uh, you know, you got the White Howard. And you have to worry about a guy like Pablo Prigioni blocking him from the back on a standing dunk. And Ray Allen misses a B-plus right there. Excellent shot. And at this point, you know, I'm, like, talking to myself. Because I talk to myself when I play the game. I'm, like, I'm about to get fucked over by 2K. You know, I also forgot to mention the uh, pack state. I think it's the end of the month, August 29th to, I think, September 2nd. And, uh... 
definitely be on the lookout for that for um, some new 2K15 gameplay. And uh, I don't know why Norris Cole came up in the three-point line, but I give it back to LeBron right here to force the contact layup to tie up the game. And at this point, you know, I get this reach, and I swear LeBron was there first, but the diving animation is just, like, it's glitchy. It's sort of like the knife animation in Call of Duty. Um, he gets bailed out right there again with the clock running out, but uh, the diving animation, I think they get the ball once they initiate the diving animation, so you have no chance to be running at it with a running player who's, like, faster than the person diving, so I think that's messed up as well. But uh, he got bailed out with Mello right there. And look at Birdman right here. He just goes up to the side where Chandler's coming to block him. That just makes no sense to me. I don't know why he wouldn't go up quicker. And I think this also a thing that needs to be fixed for next year. Um, big men need to go up quicker. Um, they have to have situational awareness, in my opinion, because it just lost this year. Like, they just take their time. Uh, it doesn't feel like they're rushing anything, even when the defense is right around them. But uh, right here, I put in Chris Bosch because I know he's playing CBU defense with uh, his center. And I just want to open shot at Bosch because he's not the greatest three-point shooter, but he's all right. And that's exactly what I get. But uh, not today. Excellent B, and I miss it. And I know Chris Bosch isn't the greatest uh, three-point shooter, but uh, wide open, you know. Probably should have made that. And right here, a questionable shot, but I was feeling confident. I don't know why. Uh, probably a bad shot on my part. And, uh, you know, I know I'm going to get one more chance, and I do. And J.R. Smith plays a defense of a lifetime right here. Blocks Chris Bosch twice. <laughs> just makes no fucking sense. You got J.R. Smith looking like MJ from behind. Um, it just, it's just so annoying to me this year. And uh, right here, that should have been stolen right there. So I got lucky right there. But I call angle 24 short, which clears out one side of the court. Get the nasty dunk with LeBron. And uh, coming up, I know he's going to go to Mello right here. I know he's going to try the post fade. And uh, that's just it's just what he does. Look at CPU Batty, though. He fucking reaches during the shooting animation. At this point, I'm pissed off. I'm flaming, yo. Like, I just can't take it anymore. And I'll still be posting uh, 2K15 news over 2K14 gameplays. But I have been grinding this game since October. And I just cannot take it anymore. So, yeah, 2K uh, decided to be a dickhead, and uh, that Heat Knicks game, probably the last uh, live gameplay you're going to see from me this year. Um, yeah, um, you know, it was just annoying to play this year, and uh, I just couldn't take it anymore for that Shane Batty ACP reaching. So, this is for all the unnecessary reaching. But I'll be back for 2K15, guys. Don't worry, I'm going to get that, but uh, just could not take 2K14 anymore. So, with that... If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'm out.